Police are hoping CCTV footage may hold clues to the identity of a man who attacked a young mother in Melbourne on Sunday morning. For the latest, we're joined by Today reporter Christina Hearn. Chris, what are police now saying? Well, Deb, along with these fresh clues, police have released a bit more detail about the victim. She was a young mum. She was out celebrating for the first time since having a baby when she was attacked. Now, police have been able to collect CCTV all along the route that the woman took home, and they have released this image of a man as he walked past the theatre restaurant behind me at about a quarter to three on Sunday morning. Now, after viewing all the council cameras in the area, detectives can now determine that this man started stalking this woman when he reached Flagstaff Gardens by walking ahead of her and then laying in wait. He attacked her in Browns Lane in North Melbourne, punching and kicking her several times to the head before sexually assaulting her. Police have also released an image of a black handbag that the victim was carrying on the night that was stolen by the attacker that they obviously hope can lead them to this man. Let's have a listen to what police have had to say. Um, appears to be gazing around. He walks beneath the camera there uh, and then continues north along King Street. Um, approximately 30 seconds later, the victim uh, follows the same route. And Chris, what is the latest on the condition of the woman who was attacked? Of course, Deb, this woman was severely beaten in this very vicious attack. And she did spend several days in the Royal Melbourne Hospital where she underwent uh, plastic surgery for her facial injuries. But I can now tell you that she has been released from hospital and she's been cared for by family members that have flown here from interstate. Police are obviously hoping that these bre this breakthrough, this fresh CCTV, can lead them to someone knowing the identity of this attacker and getting him off Melbourne streets, Deb. Indeed. We'll leave it there, Christine. Thank you.